Hello everyone, how you doing? This is the Exotic Bourbon Hunter coming to you with a follow-up video on my 5 Stars Liquor Store Bourbon Hunt. This was one of my most favorite hunts. Uh, the gentleman in the liquor store when I first went there two weeks ago, uh, trying to inquire on whether or not I could have permission to do a video there, were extremely welcoming, uh, very knowledgeable, and they absolutely hooked me on their location based on their knowledge of their store picks and how welcoming they truly were. I called up the owner, Sam Patel. He was grateful to have me come and do an episode over there. And it was an absolute honor and pleasure to be able to go there and do an episode. The only other place I felt so welcoming in is over at Bless Wine and Spirits in Claremont and also Ox Liquors. Those three, well, between Five Stars, Ox Liquors, and Claremont, uh, excuse me, uh, Bless Wine and Spirits, the owners were very welcoming. The employees were very welcoming. Uh, every time I go there, they uh, have smiles on their faces. They're always willing to answer my questions. Um, but when I went to Five Star Liquors, their hospitality really stood out above the rest. Um, I did wind up buying this bottle of Town Branch, which is once again their own barrel select. This one has a sweet cereal nose with notes of molasses, vanilla, brown sugar, and nutmeg. Uh, they have bottles, their own barrel picks, open for you to try and sample. I tried this, I sampled this, and I fell in love with it. This is not one that's going to knock your socks off. It comes in with an ABV of 50.7%. Uh, it comes in at 101.4 proof. Uh, very smooth, and this actually uh, does not fall in the category of the fancy bottle rule. This fancy bottle has fancy juice inside too. They still do have a few bottles of this left, and it comes in at uh, $46.99, so 47 beans. I think it's well worth it. You don't have to always spend $100, $200 on a bottle of bourbon. To get a good bottle but uh, you can now see the next bottle I'm going to show you and I've had multiple people ask me to do a review on this I mentioned if you guys wanted me to do a review I would so I'm going to open this up and do a little review on it. Um, it it's another one that I was absolutely wooed and wowed with it poured me a sample uh, and I was impressed. I mean, he literally pulled the bottle from the floor, opened it up, and poured me a fresh sample out of the bottle. But the best part is, he brought out this fancy glass for me, this Glen Karen, and it's got the Five Star Liquors logo on there. And I just want to thank you so much, uh, Sam Patel. Thank you for the gift. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I really feel um, like I was treated like I was a prince. And uh, Ed sat there and he described things to me in ways I never thought uh, could be explained. And, and uh, his absolute um, knowledge of the products was amazing. And then his hospitality, you know. Ed is also one of the people that made my experience the way it was. If you see Ed, let him know the exotic Bob, uh, bourbon hunter said hello. Uh, all you guys over at Five Star Liquors. You guys definitely gave me a five star experience. Thank you very much. Um, so I'm also going to be going over this Green River here. This is uh, one barrel out of 100 made. Green River only made 100 barrels. They were uh, actually bought over by the Bardstown Company uh, in 2022. But now their products are starting to be distributed through 25 different markets or 25 different states. 
and Florida is one of them. But they flew up there and they, they actually handpicked this barrel. Now you see this juice is a lot darker than this whiskey. Uh, but this is going to come in. It's a full proof. So it's Green River single barrel. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. And it's a full proof. So it's got an ABV of 59.5%. And it uh, comes in at 119 proof. I paid, I believe it was like $59.99 or somewhere around that ballpark for this Green River. But without any further ado, I'm going to crack this bad boy open and let you know what time of day it is. Forget about it. Bada bing, bada boom. Ayo! We're gonna try to get a little bottle pop here. Ah, all right, a little bit of a pop. And then we're gonna pour some of this into the Five Star Liquors Glen Karen here. Oh yeah. Beautiful, but as it first opens, you have a lot of uh, uh, ethanol kicking up out of there, but it just has to breathe a little bit. And this has beautiful legs walking down the glass here. The legs, you know, the more alcohol in it, the longer the legs get. All right. All right, before we get started, I just want to thank all my new subscribers who have uh, subscribed to the channel lately. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not be where I am today. Thank you all for subscribing to the channel. Thank you all for your comments to the channel. I appreciate all. If you ever want to comment on the channel, I always respond to my comments, as long as it's not something stupid. Uh, other than that... Uh, let's get back into this and thank you for subscribing forget about it But uh, as we start to look at this we're going to start smelling this bad boy mm, I'm getting beautiful hints of vanilla beautiful hints of honey Now this has sat out for about five minutes So it did breathe a little bit, but I'm getting little hints of some oak in there very, very sweet mass of aromas. I'm getting a little bit of a fruity smell too. Um, mm, like a candy, almost like a candy smell coming from this. It's, it's aroma is just beautiful. This Green River is no joke. Mm, maybe, uh, Maybe a little cinnamon possibly coming from there too. Mm, that's on the nose. Let's see what it's like on the palate. Ah, very oaky, delicious. I love that. Um, That oakiness, the tannins, it kind of goes through the whole entire tongue. It's just inundating my tongue with deliciousness. And I just can't get over how beautiful the aroma is that's permeating from the bourbon. You know, this is coming in at uh, 119 proof. So for 119 proof bourbon... This is drinking like it's a hundred or a 95 or 90 proof bourbon. Uh, doesn't have that real strong bite at the end. It's super duper smooth. Yeah, that oakiness is delicious. It feels like it's just right. 
And then on the finished, I'm not disappointed at all. That oakiness, like I said, it follows through. And then it's kind of like a candy finish. But uh, remember, I'm not a professional, so take my opinion uh, with a grain of sand. But I'm going to tell you this, they had a few bottles of this left. If you have the opportunity to be able to have the privilege, and I'm going to say this strongly, you have the opportunity to have the privilege of getting one of these bottles, you will not be disappointed. I mean, this is just as good right now as when I first sampled it. Saturday when I did the video. I am so happy I picked this bottle up. This just may be one of my new favorites above Blanton's, above uh, Willet, above maybe not the Knob Creek 12, but this and Knob Creek 12 are damn close. But this is amazing. Well, everybody, I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys all continue to like and comment on my videos. Please, don't forget to share my content. And everybody, have an awesome evening. And thank you for subscribing. From this time till next time to maybe tomorrow. Forget about it. Bada bing, bada boom. Take it easy.